Welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today we are wanting to talk about our printed pattern vinyl. Okay. We have several patterns to choose from. Uh, I just have a few. Um, they come in different materials. You can get reflective. You can get the pearl as this. Let's see. So it has a metallic-y look. Um, we have a lot of ombres. The ombres are very, are very popular. I have already cut something out on this, so if you see that. And these are going to be a little bit different when you go to cut. Um, on these, they do not have the transfer. They do not have the transfer on on it because we custom print it so pretty side up and you're not going to mirror rather okay and so i'm going to put this one on here and they come in 12 by 12s um some patterns some materials um the sublimation and such are going to be a little bit smaller but they're in detail you can even get one that has tiles um there's a lot of options whenever you there's actually um, four, three options rather, sorry, three options. So your first one is going to be your print layout. Whenever you go to the website and you find your pattern that you like, you're going to click, click options. And then you're going to go to print layout to where what I was talking about tiles and how you want it, or if you wanted a single 12 by 12. After that, you're going to go to the print type material so that would be as like I said we have the standard um, we have the pearl we have reflective and this is going to be where you would choose for the adhesive because we also have all our patterns in adhesive so we can do them in adhesive or heat transfer so we have two options well actually three options for the adhesive we have a glitter then um, we have a 651, which is your permanent, and it's just like Workout 651, the glue and everything. Then we also have an option for the, um, like, 631, the temporary. We'll be in the category of printed pattern vinyl. You'll click on it. There won't be an adhesive heat transfer because those are one of your options that you're going to choose. So you'll go through and look at your patterns and pick which one. Then you will go to that. And the final one is uh, transfer type. So because these do not have transfer paper on them, um, it either says for TD, Caesar TDD high tack mask, which is the same thing that comes off that you're going to pick this up and you're going to press it with. Um, so, and you can use these multiple times. So after um, I weed this out, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to burnish it really good and I'm going to pull it off of this paper. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to press it. So this is asking you, so if you get adhesive or if you pick the adhesive, you will not, you will click no on this. All right. So let me go ahead and I will cut this real quick and we'll come back and we will weed it out and press it on a shirt. I have pulled it off. I'm going to do this one on camera. That way the pattern one is a little bit on the difficult side to see with all these lights shining. And with, if you have a silhouette, you always want to test any of your material. Love the way this stuff weeds. It weeds super easy. Turned out really neat. The ombre. It's really cute. 
I put her name sideways right here so that way you would get a gradient color and it would change. All right, if you, I have weeded everything out. All right, I am going to press this and before we do, I'm going to transfer it to the heat tack transfer. This is for heat. All right, so what I'm going to do, and you can use this um, multiple times. All right, I am going to, let's see. All right, so I have it laid down, okay. I am going to burnish it, but before I do, I'm pulling the air out so that way it doesn't get wrinkled whenever it gets picked up. Either way, I always like to peel straight back. That way you know if something is coming off, you will be able to lay it back down. There we go. All right. Yes, and what we are going to press this at is between 305 and 310 for 15 seconds. Just going to pre-press to get some of the moisture out. Okay. And when I'm doing a name or doing a pocket one, I am going to start from where the collar and the shoulder starts and I'm going to come down to where it's about level and I'm going to put my hand. So that way it gives you an area right here. So right here, come down. All right. use the Stahl's heat eraser just to get a little bit of the heat out. Okay. I could cut this off but I want to leave it because if I have something bigger that I want to use it on and I can turn around and even if I have decided, okay, this is not the shirt that I want, I can turn around and I can put it on there. And I can put it up and leave it until I get ready to use it. All right. I'm going to use the carrier sheet because I have a little bit of the E that I did not pick up on the, on the paper. I don't want it sticky. Okay, let me put this back on here because like I said, I can use this several times. So if you order a few printed patterns, you can use this, I would say four times. You may get more, so I may get more out of it. And then that way I have it on here. All right. Super soft. Can't feel it. And it has a good stretch to it. All right. Go and check it out on our website. All right, guys. Thanks so much.